Today I'm going to be giving you tips for how to overcome fear of failure. So let's dive straight into it. The first tip is you need to cultivate an attitude change for yourself. Quite often when you fear failure, failure as a word and as a concept is this dark and scary thing. I want you to think about the fact that if you give something a go in life, you can never truly be a failure. I don't even really allow failure to be a word in my dictionary. So I encourage you to do the same. Delete it from your dictionary and have a think about life differently. So anyone who gets up off the couch, who gets up off their butt and gives something a go in life is always successful by the fact that they're fully participating, by the fact that they're giving things a go in life. And if you deem that to be a failure, then you'll live with that kind of fear of failure. So just delete it and create a new mindset. You can train your brain to any mindset you want, to whatever belief you want, but you've got to start talking to yourself in that way, choosing the reality you want to live in, and then hone that and ingrain that on a daily basis. My second tip about overcoming fear of failure is to remember that making mistakes and stumbling on your journey as you live and as you try new things is just part of life. So rather than resist the idea that things might not go well or that it might not go to your exact plan or you may not be as successful as you want either straight away or at all, you have to remember that every successful person on this planet that has achieved what they want realised in the journey that making mistakes and falling over and picking yourself up is just part of the game. You can't achieve what you want if you're not willing to make mistakes and stumble along the way. And so again, it's an attitude change to accept that that is all part of it. And if you make mistakes, it's no big deal. Get up, brush yourself off and be grateful for the learning. I always say with mistakes, you're never falling backwards. You are always falling forwards into greater understanding. Then when you stand back up, you use that understanding, you tuck it under your belt and it is what will help you to achieve your goals and achieve your success. Okay, my third tip for you around overcoming fear of failure is to think about what it is that really makes you afraid of failing. And one of the big things people have going on deep within themselves is that they fear that they're not good enough and that if they try to do something and they fail, that it's going to be proof that they're not good enough. So what I want you to think about is instead of living with that underlying belief, I'm not good enough, and being held back in your life with fear of failure, you're much better to just address the root cause right now. So what does that mean? It means understanding that if that's what's wired in your mind, that you have a belief that you're not good enough, then you will actually release the fear of failure by addressing that root cause, understanding this, you are good enough. It doesn't matter what you've done in your life or you haven't done. It doesn't matter what results you've got or what you haven't got. You are good enough. You were born good enough. Every person on the planet is good enough. Unfortunately, many people get led astray from that truth and get conditioned to believe that they're not good enough because of the way that they've been raised, their upbringing, their education, the experiences that they've had or what they've been exposed to. It lures their mind away into some other false limiting belief that they're not good enough. In order to overcome fear of failure, you have to know you are good enough. So I want you to be saying on a daily basis, I know I am good enough, I feel I am good enough, I believe I'm good enough. As you step forward to do anything in terms of your goals and aspirations, things you want to achieve, repeat it to yourself over and over again. There is nothing for me to fear, I am good enough. My next tip for overcoming fear of failure is to do with the fact that often people are afraid of failing because they're worried about what other people are going to think. Like I'm going to be ashamed or embarrassed in front of all these people, they're going to judge me and criticise me, people are going to laugh at me, people are going to see me fail and it's going to be the worst thing ever. And here's what I've got to say about that, you want to take the screw it attitude. If other people are going to judge you and criticise you and be rude and make fun, they're not the kind of people that you want to have in your life. There are always going to be people that love you and there are always going to be people that judge. So you have to build a resilience within yourself to say, you know what, I'm going to give this a go and when I'm successful, there'll be people that support me and people that won't. And when I make mistakes, there'll be people that judge me and there'll be people that won't. I can't live my life by what I think other people think of me. That will be the death to all my goals and dreams. So instead I say to myself, the only person that I care about in terms of what they think of me is me. I am going to deflect all of that nonsense and I'm going to remind myself I'm good enough, I'm strong, I'm capable, I love myself, I love myself even more when I get up and give things a go in life and if I stumble and make mistakes I don't care, 
I am glad that I'm one of the people that is playing life fully, living all out, and that's something to be incredibly proud of. So you've got to build this resilience against what other people think of you. And finally, my last couple of tips are things that have really, really helped me and it is a spiritual higher perspective that is incredibly powerful for overcoming fear of failure. Sometimes with fear of failure, here is what it boils down to. You don't think you're ready. You think you're missing something in terms of your skills and capability to do what you want to do. That freaks you out. You think you're going to step forward and you're not going to know what to do, you're not going to know what to say. And so you're going to make a mess of it. And I know what that feels like because I've done lots of things, particularly in my career, in the last few years where I've had to put myself out there and it's been really confronting to go outside of my comfort zone. So I'm going to tell you two particular quotes that have meant a great deal to me and have profoundly changed my experience of stepping forward and helped me to kind of eliminate fear of failure. And both these quotes come from A Course in Miracles. And the first one goes something like this in my own words. Why would you try so hard to flap your tiny sparrow wings when the power of a mighty eagle has been given to you? The meaning of that is that you have got the power of the universe behind you. It is not all on you. If you think everything is on you and it's all up to you, that's a lot of pressure to take. But when you realise that life force is flowing through you, and you've got the universe behind you, and when you tell the universe what it is that you want, and you stay still centered and confident within yourself, then the power of the universe can help you to co-create outcomes, to manifest the results that you want. And for you in any situation, no matter what it is that you're doing, to be confident in that moment, that you're not alone, and that you do have that power behind you. The second quote from A Course in Miracles that I found really, really useful goes something like this in my own words. Do not be concerned about your own readiness. Only remember the power and the readiness of that which flows through you. So again, it's saying you don't have to think it's just down to you. Little old you with your two hands and your mind and your little plan. You have to remember that you are a vessel. You are a channel for incredible power to flow through you. Passion, inspiration, intuition, all of these things are down loading to you when you get in your zone. The thing that blocks you from being in your zone? Fear. Fear is the number one thing that blocks you from being able to hear, draw upon and feel the power of the universe that is with you. So when you tune into it and you build your faith, you cultivate faith, you reduce fear because you can't be in faith and fear in the same time. So if you are in faith, you forfeit fear. If you're in fear, you forfeit faith. So the answer to fear is cultivate your faith. When you are in faith and fear is eliminated, you are a clearer channel for the power of the universe to flow through you. So those two things have been incredibly helpful for me and I hope they are useful for you too. So I hope these ideas and tips have been useful for overcoming fear of failure. If you know anyone who struggles with that as well, you can reach out and share this video with them so we can lift them up on the journey too. I've also got a free resource for you. I want you to click through on the link on this video to get my free self-confidence and self-belief affirmation audio which is a powerful resource for you to listen to on a daily basis to train your mind rewire your mind into positive beliefs that are going to support you to have faith in yourself faith in the universe and step forward bravely on your journey and I'm looking forward to sharing more daily inspiration again with you really soon